Hello guys again and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing and today we've got this Sofrin SP36 Pro LED rechargeable torch, 8000 lumen and let's jump into the box to see what we have, what accessories and how we can work with that. Manual of course, if you want to read it is your choice but stay with me, we're gonna find out all about this product, the cable, some rings because this is an IP68 waterproof and the flashlight whoa <laughs> it feels very premium wow look how it fits to my palm nice glass in front is getting hot on a turbo mode we're gonna find out all about this flashlight together how you can use it you can feel it by the touch by the eye it is very well manufactured made of aviation grade aluminium alloy and has been hard anodized whoa <laughs> here we've got the type c connection you can see it's very good hided with this uh, plastic cap no water it will go inside and inside we've got the batteries three batteries 18650 leon 3.7 volt 3000 milliamps there is a plastic rubber ring you can see around that's for you've got these replacement rings and there we can see we've got the low light of green it is in standby mode and there is the cable type a to type c it is about 80 centimeters i like type c cables connect it Find a 5 volt 2 amp adapter or you can charge it with your power bank. And you can see we've got the red light, that means it is charging, and when it's fully charged, it, it will go to green light. Nice. Inside we can see four LEDs. They are SST40 LEDs, and I'm sure they are so bright. Suffering SP36 Pro. Well, I just love it. Feels very nice and it looks very nice. It has an advanced temperature regulation ATR technology. It adjusts the brightness level automatically when the light temperature reaches on 45 Celsius to keep the light from overheating. And the low voltage uh, protection, the light steps down to a lower level when the battery is lower than 2.8 volts and the light it will shut down automatically let's see the dimensions we've got about 12.7 centimeters and in front it is uh, 4.8 centimeters now let's turn it on by just pressing this is the moonlight the lowest you can turn it on and just uh, for reading and you're coming outside wherever you want at your room then just press and hold and as you are pressing it will start to increase the brightness and the same decrease again and release the button and to go to the turbo mode just press two times fast and it will go to the turbo mode oh my god my hand my palm is getting so hot and the flashlight Oh, my hand. I think it will burn my hand, my palm. Oh, whoa. It's getting so hot. Wow. And is decreasing the brightness to ensure overheating of the LEDs. Very good future. And turn off. And of course, at any time you can go to the moon mode, just press and hold, moon mode, press it will turn off. And you can check and the battery when the flash is off, just triple click, one, two, three. And then you can uh, see three blinks, a short pause, then eight blinks will indicate 3.8 volts. And off. And the momentary mode it is one two three four five you're only going to turn on the flashlight 
but as press and hold. To leave the momentary mode, you need to unscrew the light and screw it again back. And we've got in the model mode for those they don't know so much about flashlight and this flashlight definitely it can start a fire it has a very high heatness in the turbo mode and the model mode just press six times one two three four five six and this is the highest brightness that it can go on a model mode To turn off the muggle mode, just click it again six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we are back again. Next, it is the electronic lockout. Just press four times. One, two, three, four. And you only can go to the moon mode. It is the echo mode for reading. This electronic lockout, it is when you want to take out with you your flashlight at your back for traveling. Uh, wherever you want, more safe, and it will prevent uh, accidentally to turn on your uh, flashlight on a turbo mode that is uh, very dangerous. And you can turn off the lockout electronics, press again four clicks, and there it is. Next we've got the beacon mode, under the beacon mode, just turn on, adjust where you want to be your flashlight, let's say here, and then click four times, one, two, three, four. Now there is the beacon mode. And off. And if you want to repeat it again, just press again four times click. Next we've got the strobes. We've got uh, five options. Candle mode, bike uh, flasher, party strobe, tactical strobe and lighting storm mode. To enter, just click twice and then to the third click, just hold it and it will go to this uh, mode. From off, one, two, three and hold it and there is the candle mode. And it's flickering a little bit. Next, to go to the bike flasher, just click two times fast, one, two, this is the bike flasher, to the party strobe, just again click two times, okay, next we've got the tactical strobe, two times click, oh, This is uh, most to disorientating people, can be used to irritate people. It will be a very good choice to use this when you want to protect yourself from other people. You can adjust speed and the duty cycle is always 33%. And again, to go to the next level, two clicks. This is the lighting uh, store mode, plus it's a uh, random brightness and random speed to simulate lighting strikes during a busy lighting storm. Do not look directly at the flashlight because uh, uh, when this mode is running it may suddenly go to the full power without warning. Okay, <laughs> nice options. And you can turn it off. And we've got some other options like the thermal configuration, calibrate the current temperature, you can check the temperature, you can check the volt of your battery. And I like this button, it is very soft, it is like a gel here, very friendly to my uh, finger. Around we've got this uh, silver, it gives a touch to the old construction. And we've got this uh, low light at the bottom, of course. We can increase this uh, green light by just pressing seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can see it will stay always on. That means you can find this flashlight at the dark. You are not going to lose it. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it will flash. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It will stay off always. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It will go to the light green. So many options with this uh, firmware that is at this flashlight.
it makes this flashlight so unique all that you can find it to the manual to the instruction and they will guide you step to step how to do that well until now i'm very impressive with all these options that it can give me this flashlight and i think the next step it is to test it at the night to see how much brightness it can give me and how long it is the distance that it can light up well let's do that and now we can start from the low to high brightness and you can see now my friend is going far away and you can see him very well and from the low again to a high brightness yep i can see you and now on a turbo mode definitely he's doing a great job the brightness is so high you can see the other person very good thumbs up and again we can see on a turbo mode you can see very well it is a far far away this rod And now you can see the lighting beam of the sky is very strong. Yep, he's doing a great job. Nice. And now we can see in an open area, it is lighting up very well the trees. And you can see far, far away. Those trees is about uh, 350 meters away. I have measured it on the map and those trees are about 400 meters away and this is the turbo mode wow <laughs> i'm impressed this is a great brightness very strong brightness at the turbo mode there's again the turbo mode definitely you will not miss a spot nice great job of course it's working uh, about one to two minutes when it's getting too hot the brightness is uh, getting lower just to protect your leds from overheating and again the turbo mode i can see very well far far away nice definitely you will enjoy this flashlight guys if you are a night guard, policeman, at the boards, and for your own use at your home for camping, there are varieties of outdoors things that you can do with this uh, flashlight. In a cave, wow, there is a far away, this is about 450 meters, and you can see this small tree. That is unbelievable, thumbs up. He's doing a great job. And even you can see this home, it is about 400 meters away. You can see this home very well. Yep. It's unbelievable this flashlight, he's doing a great job. Well guys, that was all about this product. You have seen what it can do. It has many options to work with this flashlight. If you need to buy it, you can check down below to the description. Uh, where you can find it and more information to buy it and with all of the guys this is the end of the video thank you again for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel like what you like my videos your choice share this video you never know who may need it and hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it have a nice and lovely day bye bye